Hi guys, it's Kate. I'm hopping on today to give you a review of the Xmaker 3D printer for kids. As you can see, it is a good looking 3D printer that is aimed for kids. It has these fun lights and it actually looks really good in my playroom. Um, so I'm gonna jump on today and give you a review of the features, the pros and cons of this 3D printer for kids. So let's start off with the assembly process. This gets an A plus in my books. Um, it comes fully assembled. You essentially pull it out of the box looking like this. There's very little that you have to do other than plug it in and just twist on a little spool um, holder over there. It is very easy to set up. The app, which I'll show you in a little bit, takes you through that assembly process. I love the fact that this is fully assembled. When it comes to something that the kids are gonna be interested in, that's exciting for kids, the less assembly, the better. The better. And so definitely love the fact that this came, came fully assembled. Um, the filament spool is on the side here, so I'll just turn it here so that you can see. Um, it's compatible with your typical PLA filament and can also use ABS, although I recommend using PLA with kids. Uh, the leveling process as well. This printer comes auto leveled and fully assembled. Um, I did not have to level this, which I was, I was actually quite surprised because even other printers that I've had that have come in this box you know, shape fully assembled. I still needed to do some leveling, but this one I just started printing and it worked out well. There is a calibration button here that um, gives you a warning saying, calibration is professional. Are you sure you want to do it? So I'm sure if you did have issues with your leveling, you could go in there with their support and you could um, re-level it. But I have been using this printer for a while now and I haven't had any issues with the leveling. Uh, which is a really nice, again, feature for beginners. If you're a beginner, you just wanna be printing out cool things with your printer. You don't wanna be messing around with all kinds of settings and having to level and re-level. Um, so in terms of the build plate size, it is a, a small sized um, build plate, but compared to some of the competitors out there that are marketing specifically for 3D printers for kids, I would say that the build plate size is bigger than average. Uh, however, compared to one of the more popular adult sort of marketed 3D printers, um, this is probably about half the size build plate. It's perfectly fine for making the things that you're gonna wanna make with kids, like little toys, trinkets, fidget toys type of thing. But if you're planning on building things like home accessories, home decor, those sorts of things, you might run into some space issues with the build plate size. In terms of speed, I would say it's pretty average in terms of my other 3D printers. Um, it's certainly not a high speed 3D printer, but I would say that um, typically, so for example, this one here that I printed uh, for Halloween took a few hours to print. So when it comes to this printer, um, you're gonna mainly be using the app to select your prints. Uh, this printer comes with its own app here that's called the Xmaker app. So you can download it on your Android or iOS device. So you click here and then you'll get to the home screen here and you'll go to this section here. Things, there's sort of a gamified area um, where you can actually complete little games and then print, but I like to just go to this section here, things, and then you can see the things that you can print with this app. So um, Xmaker has a bunch of toys that you can uh, choose from. So things that kids would like, like little, table fighting robots, chess pieces, lots of great options of uh, things for kids. There's categories up at the top. So for example, I chose festival to find some Halloween and Christmas related prints. They also have some useful type prints like they have a phone holder, but a lot of it is little toys that you can choose. So what you would do is click on the one that you're interested in. So maybe I want this Reaper here click on that and then press print and then it's going to take you to its slicing software and it's going to slice this print so now it is slicing that 3d design which means it is 
going to uh, create a layer by layer code for the printer so that it can create this. Then what you're gonna do is click upload, connect to your printer, which you need to do through Wi-Fi, and then it will show up on the screen here. And then you'll simply press print and your print will uh, start. It does take a few minutes for it to warm up and to get to the right temperature and then you'll be able to uh, watch your print. You should always watch, especially the first few layers of a print to make sure there's no errors and then stop the print if there are any errors because that's how you can lead to filament jams which can mess up your print head. So I printed off a Christmas one earlier so I just thought I'd take it off the print bed and show you how this works and show you the quality of these prints. So it is a flexible bed, which is absolutely my preferred for beginners that are learning to use a 3D print. This one's um, got like a shiny coating on it, but it feels almost foam-like here. And it did print a raft, which is a layer of uh, filament below the model. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just bend this, bend the bill plate, so I'll stick that back in. And so I've got my design here and it's on this raft. So this is a raft here. And then I'm gonna peel the raft off here. And here we go. Now I have my little Santa. It's a cute little figurine. I'm really impressed overall with the quality of the print on this X Maker. Uh, I read several other reviews of this printer as well and everyone said the same thing, which is that um, the, there's no issues with quality with this printer. Uh, I've been really happy with all the prints that have come out so far and considering that I didn't even have to level I'm I'm quite uh, I'm quite shocked actually that the quality is so good uh, so certainly love this little Santa I also printed out a more of an articulated piece earlier so this was for Halloween so these articulated types of prints can sometimes be difficult or challenging right you have to have very good precision in your 3d printer in order to be able to create these joints. This is all print in place. I didn't have to attach or assemble this. It just printed out like this. Um, and see even the head moves around. So again, this came out really well without any issues. Um, so again, I've been quite impressed by the print quality on this printer. If you don't want to use the app, there is a slicing software that you can use on a Windows computer. I unfortunately do not own a Windows computer. I am a Mac person. I only own Mac computers. Um, so I haven't been able to test it out, which is really too bad because I think that is something that potentially sets this printer apart from the other um, 3D printers for kids that are on the market, which is that once you are done with clicking some of these fun toys on the app and printing out those little designs, you could actually start getting into designing your own things, designing, um, or printing out designs from uh, places on the web like thingiverse.com or printables.com and uploading and slicing your own prints. I did try to go into uh, like Cura and just set up the you know build plate dimensions and try to download a G code and um, upload it into the USB and, and that did work. I was able to upload it, but then the print turned out horrible um, because again, the leveling seemed to be off. So hopefully XMaker comes up with a Mac compatible <laughs> slicer or provides a profile to Cura so that I can actually use this printer for something other than the app. Right now, the biggest negative for me with this printer is that it's not actually compatible with Mac computers for printing anything other than what is on the app. But if you do have a Windows computer, um, I've watched several other reviews, which um, note that the slicing software works great and that they've been able to print their own designs or other designs that they found on the internet without difficulty. So I am hopeful that XMaker is gonna come out with some Mac compatibility in the future. But for now, it's a fun toy for my kids that they can use this app to select what they wanna print. Um, in terms of price point, I'd say that this printer is fairly comparable with the other 3D printers that are out there marketed for kids. Um, it does have some nice features that make it appropriate for kids like this uh, enclosure here so you're not worried about kids touching the hot surface. Um, these printers do tend to run a little bit higher than your basic 3D printers that are more marketed for adults. 
sometimes one and a half or two times the price on Amazon for these printers than your standard 3D printers that require assembly. But when it comes to ease of use, this printer really can't be beat. It's very easy to use. Um, so overall, I do think it's a great printer. Hoping they come out with that Mac compatibility so I can print something other than the things from the app. Uh, but even with just the app prints, I think this would make a great addition to a playroom. And it's a really fun uh, toy for kids to get interested in STEM and 3D printing and 3D design. I will link to some of the tutorials that I have about teaching kids about 3D printing, creating things like their own name tag or a bubble wand using uh, Tinkercad software, which is fun for kids to start designing and learning about 3D design. Hope you enjoyed this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're interested in more 3D content.